Welcome to this Green Valley Camera Club informational video. In this video we will learn how to check the nozzles on an Epson P600 printer. The first thing you need to do is to turn the printer on if it has not been turned on for the day. Open it up and press the power button. The blue light will come on and the maintenance panel will light up. This printer has the option to tilt out the display panel for easier viewing. Since this is a touch panel, it also makes it easier to use. If the printer has been powered on for the day already, the display panel may have gone to sleep. To bring it back to life, press the power button once. To do a nozzle check, one of the things that you need is a piece of blank copier paper. The most convenient place to find blank copier paper is in the copier. Insert the paper into the printer. If a member is ready to use the printer, please ask them to wait for one minute to ensure maximum print quality for their prints. Returning to the display panel, we want to go to the setup screen by pressing the button in the lower right corner. We go up and press the maintenance button and that gives us an option to do a print head nozzle check. Since we already have paper loaded, we will just press print. Within a few seconds, the paper will begin to print. And within a few more seconds, we will be able to examine the paper to see if we have any clogged nozzles. On the paper, you will see colored squares, one color for each color of ink and you will see they're nice and square. There may be some jaggedness to them, but they're complete squares. And this is a good nozzle test. At this point, if it looks like this, you can just stop. If you get a nozzle printout that looks like this, where you have skips and the lines are not continuous, that is when you want to continue on and do a head cleaning run, which we will show you next. To do a head cleaning, there is no need for any paper. You simply go to the maintenance panel, you press the setup button in the lower right corner, as before, you press the maintenance button, and this time you press the second one down, the print head cleaning button. The print head cleaning takes quite a bit longer than the nozzle check. I would guess it takes about two minutes to complete that. So uh, we've shortened it up a bit here for you and after you do a head cleaning you always have to do another nozzle check to make sure that your head cleaning actually solved the problem. You press print and it'll print another nozzle check. After examining the second nozzle check, if there are still skipped lines and you don't get a good nozzle check, Go to the sign-in machine and click on notify board members and send a message that there's a problem with printer A, B, or C and uh, someone will take it from there. Mm -hmm. 